worship and praise.
to feel your presence. I could just stay, I could just stay right where I am and hope to feel you, hope to feel something again. I could hold on, I can hold on to who I am and never let you change me from the inside. I could be safe, oh, I could be safe here in your arms and never let you, never let these walls down. But you have called me higher, you have called me deep. I'll go where you will lead me, Lord. You have called me higher. You have called me deeper. And I'll go where you will lead me, Lord. You lead me. I could hold on to who I am and never let you change me from the inside. I could be safe, oh, I could be safe here in your arms and never leave you, never let these walls down. But you have called me higher, you have called me deeper, and I'll go away.
Today's scripture is found in Proverbs 21, 21. He that followeth after righteousness and kindness findeth life, righteousness, and honor. Please bow your heads for prayer. Dear Jesus, we are here to reflect on how you've helped us throughout our years here, and we thank you. We ask you to be with us as we prepare to leave GCA and into the world beyond. In your heavenly name we pray, amen. Hello, my name is Jeffrey Fowler, and I'm a four-year senior. <laughs> I've gone through a lot these past four years at GCA, four great years, four maturing years. When I look back on freshman year, I was scared out of my mind. It was a place that I wasn't familiar with, and not a lot of good food. A lot of people understand freshman year but this was something that I struggled with the most. 
I look back and it was more of a strengthening my roots and going deeper to be firm for the future. But I wouldn't have had the motivation to do such a thing without my freshman RA, Christian Rodriguez. Some, someone that was passionate, focused with confidence, head up, shoulders back, and relaxed. Someone who strived to be, even to become. It was someone I tried to strive to be and become freshman RA, which was funny because I'm freshman RA. Just as Christian, not just Christian Rodriguez that influenced me, it was also Mrs. Garropy and drama that pushed me further to be comfortable within my own skin, upstage, and people looking at you. But she hasn't trained me to do speeches such as this. She also pushes me in drama class to memorize lines, which I procrastinated even today. Even she was, if she was doing drama this year, her head would explode with, from frustration. But even though she has taught me one year, she has influenced me positively anyway. I wanted to thank her for that. Especially Mrs. Scott, who has also had put up with me. Well, she gave up on me and let me do my thing. <laughs> Even though certain people pushed me to do my best at GCA. Excuse me. Certain people pushed me to do my best at GCA and challenged my mind, especially the cruelty that which we call school. I remember freshman year going into Mrs. D's class at 3 o'clock, sorry, I was exaggerating, 3.01 in the morning, the first day, papers flooding my table so much it could be a book, and it was just only the syllabus. With all that paper or, or, and our homework, we had to do page 7,568 in our notebook. But we still learned and learn we did. Well, I believe that. Especially sophomore year where we had Sigler for the first year when taking his finals for sophomore year. It was like the exodus going out into Egypt. And there was dances and praises to God until junior year when we, when we had to come back to his classroom and it was like 70 years in Babylon. <laughs> yes, there was a grin in there. But we learned and learned we did, and that was all that mattered. I just wanted to thank them for their hard work, as you say. They make us a little smarter, but we still have a long way to go. Now, as a senior, it has been very different than I expected. I thought it would be very different. We did, but it did not. We did have a different experience, but it wasn't what I thought. It was more of a limbo feeling of high school and the real world, just how, just how I see my freshmen as they talk to girls and how, who they're going to date and who's the coolest and everything. And I just laugh and just give them a little bit of wisdom and just blows over the heads and don't understand. And I kind of see what God kind of sees. He has to work with us and play our little game and how we view our world. He wants us to see what he sees, but we are talking about things that have drama that wouldn't benefit us in the long run. He has the wisdom, he has the knowledge. He knows more than we know ourselves. All you have to do is ask for help and listen. To be still and know that he is God. That is what I learned from GCA. God will help, help just to do, and just, God will help. Just do you and listen for his calling. He will bring people in your life that will benefit you or benefit them within you. Are we not little lights that shine and let those in darkness see? That we are in need of God and all we need to do is call out his name and he is there. That is amazing. I have seen it in my life at, here at GCA. 
That's what I have to say as a four-year senior. Hey guys. Um, first of all, my name is Lance. If you guys don't know, most of you probably do. And so I'm a four-year senior here, and my story starts, well, to understand my present, you have to know my past. Originally, I'm from Michigan, um, Beaverton, Michigan, which, if you guys don't know, that's pretty much right there. <laughs> it's just, it's, that's how you explain it. Um, growing up, it wasn't, we didn't really have a healthy household. We had to deal with a lot coming from my father because it's just, it was one of those marriages that wasn't the best and was not healthy. Until the Lord led us to a wonderful woman named Brenda Walsh. If you guys don't know who she is, she's the woman that does um, the kids' time with 3ABN. And she completely changed the way we live, especially with my mom. Uh, if you looked at my mom 10 years ago, you would not know that it was her. So eventually, slowly but surely, she got us away from the tyrannous grip of my father. And she convinced us to come down to Collegedale due to the schooling and the education. And she, in turn, hired my mom as her personal assistant. Um, so eighth grade year was pretty rough. Um, I could feel my connection at uh, CAMS, College of Adventist Middle School, deteriorating. I had a small group of friends, um, Josh, Steven, Shelby, and two other ones that aren't here. Um, and in turn, they came to GCA with me. Um, summer camp, eighth grade year, I was, eighth grade year was really bad for me. Um, I had, months at a time where I would just nonstop scream at God for not giving me the life I wanted, for taking away my dad, just for everything. And then I met this kid named Andrew Corp. And if you guys know him, which most of you do, he is a saint. Andrew is one of the friendliest, warmest people you will ever have the pleasure of meeting. And by the way, side note, pray for him. He's actually headed to Hawaii this uh, next year to be a student pastor. Yeah. And so he's just, he's super warm and inviting, and I was telling him about my situation with high school because, as Amy said last night, I wasn't inclined to go to College Hill Academy. It's just where I didn't feel the Lord was leading me. And so he told me about GCA, all about it, his friends, what the atmosphere was like, and that really interests me because who on earth wants to send their small children to a boarding school in the middle of Calhoun, Georgia? Just without cell phone service, barely. <laughs> so they're like, yeah, go have fun, guys. See you next home leave. Luckily, since I live in college, I'm 45 minutes away. So fortunately, my mom helped me a lot through that. So arriving at GCA, I was terrified. A um, few, few friends came with me, like I said, Josh, Steven, and Shelby. And then later came Tori, Mike, and Jared. Um, not knowing what we expected here, like, moving from my house into a dorm was a weird enough situation because I went from not having to share a bathroom to having a ton of guys wake up and all use the same bathroom. That's just, yeah. And not to mention, just, there's a certain difference between having your mom's homemade cooking in the calf, and I'm just going to leave it at that because that's just, you understand what I'm talking about. So, on a more serious note, Throughout the past four years, I've had my fair share of heartache, losing friends and drama. But I mean, that's not what I want to focus on. However, there was one event that changed my life dramatically junior year. Um, in the middle of September, um, my mom came up to, uh, to get me at a random time. And then Dean came to my room. He's like, hey, your mom's here. I was like, oh, no, what did I do? <laughs> and so she's like, hey, we need to go. You're going home tonight. And I'm like, OK. So she. She takes me up to this church, and she's like, we need to talk. And no child wants to hear that. And we sat in the car, and she, uh, she told me that my dad had shot himself. And um, yeah, that was rough. Granted, I hadn't seen him for six years. And I had talked to him, for, I had talked to him once to try to get my passport approved a year ago. But that hit me, because. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't really present in my life, but he's my father, you know? Like, anytime you lose someone, that's, that's rough. 
So before I came to GCA, I was very depressed. I was very suicidal as well. And in turn, I was just living in self-induced ag ag agony. And that, and freshman and sophomore year, that actually helped me a lot. But then this event, junior year, just like I said, changed my life. And um, hey, Justin, can you stand up for a second? Justin was my roommate at the time that all this happened. And one night I remember screaming at God, saying, why did you do this? Why did you do this? Not, not thinking that he was awake, but he was. And Justin Patterson saved my life that night because I was ready to end it all. I remember him saying, Lance, I care about you. Lance, I love you. It, this is just a fact. It's not over. You can keep going. After that, you know, GCA got a lot better. Like I said, you know, it was still rough and months and months, and I'm still affected by it as my eyes are watering. But GCA has taught me a lot about God and not to give up on him, even even if, you've given, even if you've given up on him, he'll never give up on you. You know, I used to use God as a crutch all the time, and I would only go to him when I thought it was convenient for me or when I needed something. Never just to say, hey, God, can you listen up for a second? I need you. Or, hey, what do you have to tell me, God? And GC has taught me a lot about that because there's just, there comes a time in your life where we all need to grow up and realize the reality that God isn't a crutch. He loves us. He's always there for us. He's our best friend. No matter what is going on, he will always be there to listen. The only reason that I can afford GCA is, well, actually, I skipped a part. So the intro to GCA was um, through Andrew Corp, and I brought it up to my mom, and she, in turn, said, no, we can't afford it. No, 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 it won't happen. It can't. I'm sorry. So I had come to terms with that. And I was ready to sign up for classes at College Hill Academy. And then one day, her and uh, Brenda Walsh, they sat me down and they said, uh, with tears in both of their eyes, congratulations, you've been accepted to GCA. And I didn't understand because I know my family isn't financially stable enough to afford it. And turns out, um, this person that I've never met before, this couple, they um, volunteered to pay for me for the year to sponsor me for a full ride for the first year. And so that was a blessing as itself. And then I was worried, you know, okay, they sponsored me for the first year. There's a lot more years. Not only did they sponsor me for the first and second year, they sponsored me all four years. The only reason that I can stand before you and proudly say that I'm a GCA four-year senior is because God worked through those people. And God worked with the Gerards. They worked with um, just all the administration, with Ms. Theus, with the work coordinator. They worked with, or God worked with everyone to get me here today, right now, to stand in front of you and say that I am a miracle. And all of you guys are too. It is a miracle that you, can stand, that you guys are sitting where you are. So on a side note uh, with the sponsor, if any of you guys are financially blessed enough to, well, more than my family, and feel inclined to sponsor a child that wants to go here, even a little goes a, lo a long way. You don't have to make it a full ride like I did for all four years. Like I said, a little goes a long way, and it will affect them for the rest of their life, because I know my experience has changed my life forever. Thank you. <laughs>
does not boast Love after all matters the most Love does not rhyme Love does not hide Love does not keep locked inside Love is a river that flows through Love never fails you Love will sustain Love will still believes when you don't Love is the arms that are holding you Love never fails you When my heart won't make a sound when I can't turn back around When the sky is falling down Nothing is greater than this Love is right here Love is alive Love is the way, the truth Life. Love is the river that flows through Love is the arms that are holding you And love is the place you will fly to Love never fails you Um, hi, my name is Cami, and um, I'm a two-year senior, and this is my GC experience. I've never had a life of much stability because my parents separated when I was 10 years old, and I've never stayed at a school for more than two years. I never knew what it felt like to actually enjoy going to school every day because I was never able to make long-term friendships. My mom always told me to pray for my friends, however, and so I did, and I know she did as well. My first two years of high school were extremely rough. I had grief and hurt that I was never able to deal with, and on top of that, I hated going back and forth from my mom's to my dad's house. The friends I had were not very good ones, and so instead of talking to people about my problems, I decided to deal with them on my own in a very unhealthy way by using and drinking. It got so bad, my parents had to pull me out March of my sophomore year. After a lot of therapy and talks with God, I remember my dad sitting me down and saying, this is a list of Adventist boarding schools. You need to pick one. The idea of going to boarding school terrified me because I didn't think I would fit in and I thought boarding schools were for weird people. GCA was on my list and since it was much closer to my house than the rest of the academies, we decided it was a win. I knew no one here and to make things worse, I didn't even have a roommate yet so I was very lost and insecure. I remember coming out on my hall one day and seeing two people playing cards and one of them was Caroline. We instantly became inseparable and seemed to laugh at everything together. Dorm life became amazing because instead of going from house to house, I stayed in one place all the time, and my best friend Caroline moved in with me. I felt so secure, and it was a feeling I hadn't felt in a very long time. Fast forward, and junior class trip was such an amazing experience. This is where I was able to get closer to a lot of the kids in my class and formed relationships that have lasted through the time I've been here. So I really want to give a big shout out to all of my friends. You guys are, have made my experience here so memorable. Thank you for every laugh and all the tears in between. Thank you for putting up with my sarcasm and for always being reliable. 
Since I've been at GCA, I have built stronger relationships in two years than I ever had in my whole life, and I've gotten to know Jesus Christ as my savior and best friend. God has saved my life through GCA. The pain and struggle I went through was so worth the phenomenal outcome God had in mind for me to graduate at such an amazing school. I'm so glad my mom taught me to pray for my friends. I am sure that because of that, I was blessed with the most beautiful group of friends I could have ever asked for. So thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who invested time into me and believed in me. I love you all. Thank you. Uh, good morning, my name is Jonathan Samaniego. I'm a four-year senior. <clears throat> this is my GCA experience. Um, coming into GCA as a freshman, straight out of public school, I really did not know what to expect. The only people I knew were my brother and my cousin Genesis. That was it. Although my transition wasn't as horrible as some people who come knowing no one, I felt isolated and definitely insecure. That is until uh, a guy decided to borrow some socks from another guy without asking for them. Uh, <laughs> Dean had noticed that this guy and I seemed to get along very well and could possibly be compatible as roommates. After this guy returned from his short break from GCA, which happened to be only one week into the school year, him and I became roommates and a friendship soon blossomed. It really is funny to think that something which was so terrible at the time turned out to be what sparked one of the closest friendships I would have through my four years here at GCA. It was peculiar stuff like that which created friendships for me. I really can't off the top of my head think of one friend I made by simply walking up to them, introducing myself, and shaking their hand. Uh, some stories I can't think of are working in the calf with Josh sophomore year and incidentally playing a part in breaking the patella in his knee, uh, <laughs> getting crossed on the soccer field by a uh, short dude, Eduardo, and him becoming one of my best friends. Also hearing about some tough gangster who owned hundreds of pairs of shoes to simply come to find out that this person, Juan, was one of the softest people I know. <laughs> uh, the one that mostly stands out is Pedro, who happened to bring a week's worth of clothes to a boarding school, <laughs> where he thought he was going to go home from, to Florida from Georgia every weekend. <laughs> and having him come into my room every 30 minutes to ask for a croissant. Uh, my point of these stories is to show that at GCA, there was always some interesting experience which led to a friendship. These friendships I really cherished tremendously during my time at GCA. It seemed like there was always someone I could rely on for anything it was that I needed. If I needed relationship advice, I could resort to my boy Edgar, who's an expert with the ladies. <laughs> if I needed financial advice, I knew I could turn to my boy Juan, who never seems to be broke. Any fashion advice, I knew I could rely on my boy Pedro, whose sense of fashion is through the roof. My boy Felipe, I knew I could always rely on to have my back when playing video games on my phone. Uh, my boy Carlos, an expert with words and also very wise, never failed to impress, impress me. <clears throat> the faculty at GCA and the relationships formed with them are something I also am thankful for. I thoroughly enjoyed Mr. Hur's stories and, all, and his all over the place comments which seemed to be unrelated to the topic we were discussing, but, some, <laughs> but, but somehow tied in discreetly. Uh, Mr. Sigler's great passion and appreciation for literature and teaching it taught me so many things. He truly inf influenced my life tremendously and surely the lives of all other seniors that took his classes. Uh, Mr. Leeper, who's a lamb in the classroom but a beast on the court. And of, of course, how could I forget the GOAT, Mr. Casey Larson, who came at the beginning of second semester yet happened to win the hearts and appreciation of all of our class. Uh, Dean Hunt, Dean Nesmith, and Dean Albert, I also am thankful for, for them putting up with me through the years, uh, seeing me grow as an individ individual, and seeing potential in me in leadership. Uh, to my soccer coach, Clint, I will be forever grateful for giving me the opportunity to represent GCA by playing soccer and always encouraging me to be better. Uh, for every faculty, there's a story which I can say to express my gratitude. Sadly, the time does not permit. Um, all of these friendships and interactions are what made my GCA experience as positive as it has been. Uh, the bonding which occurred through our endeavors on junior, junior trip last year, I truly will remember forever. 
Uh, the group of friends on the bus stuck to each other and really grew as a class. Uh, the memories on the soccer field when, with uh, my teammates by my side and us winning a national title are things I will never forget. The extensive learning which has taken place in the classrooms, uh, which I will never be able to repay, I am forever, forever thankful for. I knew that there was always someone here to have my back and someone I could rely on to speak to and someone there to listen to me. And although I may not have been the best person to put up with through my four years here, I truly am thankful to the people who decided to stick by my side and stay loyal. I know that the friendships I made through my four years here will last my entire lifetime. I'm thankful for each and every person who knowingly or not shaped my GCA experience and formed it to be as positive and uplifting as it has been. Thank you. Good morning, happy Sabbath. Church family, friends, teachers, and staff, um, I would like to greet you all and tell you about my GC experience. My name is Carlos Gonzalez, and as a four year senior throughout the years here at GCA, I have learned and seen many things that have changed my life specifically here at GCA for the good. As a freshman, I didn't know what to expect I was scared, but the welcoming atmosphere that each student brought has impacted me in a positive manner, as well as the teachers and staff members. 
The teachers and staff are the ones who made me feel that I could achieve and go beyond my own limits. They helped show me my true potential and tried to help bring the best out of me. From what I have seen, God has used the teachers and staff to help guide my paths, not just in the education, but spiritually as well. I accomplished a lot throughout my years here at GCA. And one thing that helped me a lot in my mental and physical health was soccer. I learned to be patient and my character developed over the years in a positive manner. Spiritually, GCA is very strong and stable. And I'm thankful for a wise principal, staff, and teachers who care about our salvation and success more than we do at times. And specifically, I'd like to mention Mr. Leeper, who in religion class just wants us to have a strong relationship with God, making sure that he is number one in our lives, which up to this day, I have come to realization that the only thing that matters most in this world and in life is our relationship with God. The Holy Spirit is always working in our hearts whether we see it or not. Thank you, Mr. Leeper. And I encourage the following students that are continuing their journey to always have God by your side, for he will guide your paths. I would also like to mention Coach Fox and Coach Clint. Thank you so much for helping me build my character out in the field, as well as making my dreams come true in becoming the soccer captain and making my experience worthwhile. You're the ones who inspired me to go far and to never give up. Coach Fox, you're a man of integrity who inspired me to who has shown me a lot to the time when I made a big mistake, you were there to help me realize how big it was. And up to this day, I admire you for that. Without you, I would have probably made decisions that would have affected mainly the soccer team, and I would probably have made decisions that would, I have would regret it later on. To my boss at work, Dean Albert, you have shown me to always work hard and stay on top of everything. You have helped me grow as an individual independently, which helped me grow as a person overall, and especially making right decisions and always making sure I did the job well. Last but not least, I'd like to thank Felipe and Jonathan and Pedro, who were there for me when times were tough, for being real always, for always having my back when I was to go through heartbreaks and even sad moments. You both were, you both were all, you were always there, uplifting me to better things. Thank you. One thing I learned was to choose your friends wisely, for they are the ones who will influence you positively or negatively, but also make your experience overall amazing. As a student at, here at GCA, at the beginning, it was rough. My widowed mother was not in financial cap capability to pay for this school, Amen. and I may not have put my full potential in my studies, which to this day, I do look back and I learn. You live and you learn. But God opened the doors for me financially by putting sponsors in my path who are more like angels and blessings from God. And I have come to a realization that God always allows things to happen for a reason. Sometimes we just need to experience, experience it to actually learn from it. I've gone through many failures, rejections, and setbacks, but that has never made my experience here at GCA bad. I give all thanks and praise to God for giving me the opportunity to stand here today and for, allow, for allowing me to go to this amazing school and having an Adventist, a Seventh-day Adventist education. Thank you all for making my GCA experience amazingly unique in its way. Good morning and happy Sabbath. Uh, my name is Alexis Castro and I'm a four-year senior. And this morning I'm going to share with you my GCA experience. Um, they say while you're a teenager um, and junior in high school, people have a hard time finding their identity. Over the past four years, I have come to conclude that they were not lying. Living in Hutchinson, Minnesota, my sister Brianna and I, um, through a lot of thought and prayer, decided that GCA was the place God had in store for us. Um, the moment we stepped onto this campus, I could feel the presence of God in this place, and though we would be very far from home, um, that feeling that I had um, from this campus put all my fears to rest. Freshman year was amazing, being able to hang out with all my friends all day, every day, and only have a small bit of workload. 
Sophomore year was a drastic change from freshman year, but I still found it as equally fun and exciting to get into different kinds of mischief. Um, junior year rolled around, and I found myself living in a very different world. The year began out fun, and I was excited to finally um, be an upperclassman. Taking advanced classes and handling a very large workload, I found myself buried under my schoolwork in constant stress, the very, the very definition of the word student. Um, as the year progressed, I found myself with very few people to call friend. I was often alone, and in my alone time, I was left with a very unsettling feeling of feeling hopeless and with no energy to go about a normal day. Soon I began to cry all the time and was very irritable with frequent anxiety attacks. By the end of my junior year, I found that I no longer had the desire to be at GCA and was thinking into some different options in which to leave behind GCA. The issues I was having put a lot of strain and a lot of um, stress upon my friendships between myself and my family and my job and my academics. By the time the school year ended and it was time to go home for the summer, it was decided that I would seek counseling. The summer before my senior year, upon seeking help, it was found that I had a very common form of depression called dysthemia. Upon establishing this fact, it became very clear to me as to why I had no interest in myself, no interest in others, and especially no interest in God. Um, I, have reached a total, I had reached a total standstill in my relationship with Christ, and it shocked me. Um, looking back and thinking about it, I was very angry at God for allowing me to experience the things that I had been experiencing and, uh, and for finding me in the state I had found myself. Um, senior year began, and I was very apprehensive as to how the year would go. Um, to my surprise, it began out very well. Um, I found that this year, while si sitting in senior religion class um, and having countless debates after class with Mr. Leeper over ethic ethical issues we were discussing in class, I was being challenged each and every day to see the power and might of God of my life. Um, during my AP literature class with Mr. Sigler, I found that um, he taught us to reach deep inside of ourselves and see how the world relates to us and how God is in every single thing that we do in our lives. Um, through these two classes and through these teachers, they taught me how to seek a deeper relationship with Christ, the relationship that I seek to have with him every single day of my life. Um, every day is a constant battle against the things that try to make me forget these truths, but GCA serves to help um, remind me that God is a powerful God, and he never gives up on us, even when we do. GCA was a blessing to my spiritual life, serving as a true test to my faith and love for Christ. Thank you.
Please bow your heads for prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day when we gather together, praise your name, and worship you. Please bless GCA with your grace and help class of 20, 2018 graduates and other students in GCA to be successful. Lord, help us to remember that we're your children. Help us to ask for your help when we need you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Church service will begin at 11.05.